What is the up? You are looking at the Kubi Hyde HYDE. This is in the denim blue G10 stonewash 14C28N finish. Um, it is just shy of seven inches long and the blade is just shy of three inches long and so by comparison we have what every other knife reviewer does um, well firstly a, a, a size comparison but there's the rat one so you know the rat one is a definitely full-size knife uh, so you can see this fellow is a bit you know a fair bit smaller but what you will see is that and I've got medium, medium large hands, sort of, I don't know. I can comfortably get four fingers on there. Easy peasy, right? And then you've also got a choke up point. Or, in other words, a finger joil, rather. And it is very, very comfy indeed. I mean, this is a, to quote Tri-State EDC, the YT reviewer, this is an all day. Right, you, you, you could just do this all day. And if you want to do draw cuts, you'd stick your uh, uh, ring finger in there and you'd pop your index up there. And again, it's it's an all day, it, it, it really is. And if you're looking at, looking at it kind of like, you know, uh, aesthetically, it's, um, you know, you, you could say it's kind of generic, but I I would say it there's not that many that look like it. And, um, you know, you've got an interesting sort of swedge going on. You've got a somewhat interesting blade shape, which is... <sighs> drop point, sure. Um, but what kind of differentiates it? And, oh, just, just whilst we're here, I, I do believe you should... Whoops, sorry. You should be able to see inside there that there's plenty of... Um, come on. Come on, phone. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Uh, you know, fleshy, fleshy surfaces make the phone focus. You can see the, the the scalloping away inside there, so it's got plenty of weight relief. And you can also see from here the excellent lock bar access. So it's sticking out, or it protrudes more than the other side of the knife. So it's super duper easy to unlock. And uh, it's uh, just watch out. <laughs> Uh, the first time you uh, unlock it because uh, boop, <laughs> down it goes and there's no worries right it lands on your on your thumb there so that's not a problem and then um, down it goes and it is a beautifully smooth action and now things get interesting in my opinion because you've got uh, a top flipper front flipper thumb flipper basically now one of the major downsides of this knife in my opinion is access to the th the thumb hole. I cannot for the life of me think why they didn't carve out a bit of the handle here or shape the blade differently or the hole differently, right? Because when when I when I get to my get try and get my thumb in there, it it just doesn't feel right because this bit here this bit here is flat and hard and like it just doesn't feel like they thought about it. You can do it, no problem, but it just doesn't feel right. And the same is for the spidey flick. Now I've messed with the lock bar tension, so this one's a little bit easy to, you know, a bit light on the detent, but but it it it's ve it's very good. It's very good. And the top flip. Is great now again I mine mine's a bit light on the detent so yours will be snappier at the factory anyway and um, you've just got acres of really well jimped um, tang to, to play with here and uh, I generally go for the the end of it and uh, no bother now you can hear the kind of like the delay and kind of like the weak kind of connect that's again the lock bar tension um, but let's have a li listen to the uh, acoustics. Again, not super snappy because of me pissing around with it. And this is a, a regular front flip, which is a bit more like it. Let's do another one of those near the, near the, the uh, microphone. 
rather nice, rather nice. Not not stellar. Um, how's how's housekeeping things? So the clip is good. Uh, it's got a beak, which Metal Complex would be complaining about right now. I don't find that they snag on everything like he finds. You know, we're all different. Um, uh, it's got got your lanyard hole. Whoopee. Um, what else? What else are we looking for? Yeah, um, action, acoustics, done that, air goes. I mean, I really like this uh, aesthetic. Come on, phone. Here we go. I really like this aesthetic. It's just really clean, really simple. There's no pocket packer. I just think it's an elegant folder, and I would like it if they did a t TI version. I'm not sure I'd buy it, but I would like it if they did one, and I, and I think it would demonstrate Kubi's design chops better than some of the other choices they've made. Um, is it lefty friendly? Um, it is. It's swappable. You can see there's your, there's your, there's your clips. Um, any hotspots? No, nothing. Solid deployment. Solid as you like. And just you know, look look at this. It's excellent. I mean, and you can pick these up when they're on sale, which is about every other week. You know. You know, you know not really, but very often a, a Kubi and White Mountain knives. On you can pick these up for thirty bucks. And for fourteen C and this kind of action and this execution, it's it's excellent. Um, and the weight, I believe, is three ounces something. So it's it's very reasonable. So overall, you've got an excellent top flipper, front flipper with the thumb hole. The thumb hole is probably the weakest point, but it get, it's not a you know a, a showstopper. You got excellent lock bar access. You got excellent uh, fit and finish. Um, minimal branding, I would say. You know that's acceptable. Not minimal, but you know. It's not bad. Nice clip, very you know, very functional. Deep carry, uh, scalloped out, weight relief. It's just a really, really good knife. This is the Kubi Hide, and it retails around 50, 60, but you can pick it up for 30 if you just hang around for a bit. And that's it. Cheers.